Rituals have been part of our earth since the first moment there was life. Whether it is a male bird dancing around and spreading his wings to impress a ladybird, or us humans celebrating birthdays each year, we are ritualistic beings in our essence. We associate the word ritual with something spiritual or religious, but you may have created unconsciously a ritual for how you enjoy eating or to find some peace before going to sleep. Therefore, having rituals for creativity feels just natural to me. I see it as a portal that opens us to our intuition, our connection with earth, a connection to ourselves, a moment of quietness or release through movement. Rituals can be whatever actions feels good to you and provide you with the magic of life and presence. Spirituality is a big part of my personal life and my creative process. Connecting with my oracle cards or sitting in meditation every morning has become part of my daily life rituals. Starting the day with intention, introspection, clarity and slowness is the foundation to connect with my creative spirit. Do you have any particular rituals for creativity? I would love to hear about your experiences. Maybe there is something divine connected to creative expression after all. Sometimes I finish a painting and look at it with the feeling, did I make this? As if what pushed me through the process was an impulse that lives beyond my body and mind. Do you also get this feeling when you create? Art is a way for our souls to come out and play. And the play field is as important as the action. If you would want to go out and play, and you have to go to a grey cement playground with rusty old swings that are broken, it would not be the same as going to a park filled with green spaces, sand, the smells of flowers and a rope climb tower that invites you to get in and explore. A creative space doesn't need to be a whole room. It can be a desk or a corner of the house. A soft place to land, to be vulnerable, safe and inspired. A space that feels authentic to you. This channel has been a true joy for me since I started it a few months ago. To connect with you across the world and hear your stories, your resemblances to my journey. It makes me believe that kindness and light travel to every corner of our earth. And it is up to us to be it and continue spreading it. Thank you for your kind words, love and vulnerability. You are truly special to me. Therefore, today I want to share a little bit more about my creative playfield. I am super excited to invite you to my creative safe space, my studio. Here I recollect memories, stories and inspiration for me to recharge on a daily basis. My art studio is filled with personal memories, amulets, rocks that I found in different travels or were a gift to me and of course lots of plant friends. Things like the Ekeko, an Andinian amulet for abundance gifted from my aunt, or the collection of books that gave me tools, knowledge and new perspectives that brought me to where I am now. Paintings I've made and are special to me, but also this embroidered canvas that I bought on a market in Portugal, made by hand by a lovely older woman. This room to me is a gateway to my mind and soul, as if you could see the world through my eyes. Let me know in the comments how your special creative place looks and feels to you. Thank you for watching and for your loving support. If you feel a big yes with what you see on YouTube, you're going to love the creative community I am building on Patreon. Stay tuned for the launch in September this year. You can follow me on Instagram or join my monthly newsletter to see more content like this. You can find all the information below.